Hey there guys, this is Mr. Burns and I'm just here to wish you guys a farewell and for the end of the, you know, end of the school year for the summer. Um, it's a weird way of doing this. It doesn't feel normal. I'm sure it doesn't feel normal for you guys. Like I get this kind of cool feeling like summer's coming and we're off. I can say bye to you guys. And you know, just like everything else, it's, it's different this year, you know? Um, but I want to thank you guys for, you know, this is my first year at Byron. My first year, not to, well, I did high school, my very first year of teaching, but I had charter schools, third through 12th grade, so I had a lot of levels. But first year of just high, only high school. And I really did enjoy every moment of it. I mean, yeah, there's times of frustration. We all get frustrated. But overall, you know, I just saw Dr. Myers last week when we were handing out artwork. And I really do mean this. I enjoy coming to work every day. You know, I don't dread pulling up to that parking lot. I don't dread getting my stuff out and walking into that building. Um, unfortunately, some people feel that way with any kind of job. They don't like coming into work every day or they hate their job or whatever, but I don't, I really don't. I thrive on being around people. I thrive on, on talking to you guys and um, seeing what you guys create. And, you know, for me, it's just there as a guide to help. But overall, the art that you're making is more within you and you're pulling your own ideas and putting it out there. Um, so if if I didn't really get to know you this year, I'm sorry. You know, um, some of you guys kind of have your own thing going on and I try to respect that. Um, but I mean, I still see you and I still understand, you know, and I still am paying attention, even though it may not seem like um, I didn't give you as much attention. Um, some of you guys are more quiet and seem like you want to be kind of left alone and I kind of respect that too. So um, if I didn't get to really know you as well as you would like me to um, this past year, I apologize. I'll try to do a better job. Actually, that was a goal of mine when we we're coming back from spring break is that I really wanted to um, get to some, get to know some of you guys that maybe I didn't get to really talk to you as much, you know, during uh, fall and early, early, early spring semester. So, um, but overall, you know, I really enjoyed being there every day, talking with you guys, laughing with y'all. Um, and I, and to my seniors, you know, um, I'm sorry that again, this is how you have to go um, this year. It's, it's a weird thing. You know, it's not what you hoped that it would be, but you know, at, at the end of the day, I mean, I, I hate saying it, but that's life, you know, and um, I've got a lot of stories to share and I've got a, you know, I'm still living life just like all of us are. And, you know, you'll learn that things just don't go the way that you hope them to, and you have to learn to adjust um, and adapt and change, and um, you'll be a better person for it. So, um, but I'm sorry you didn't get the moment that you wanted, and it really stinks because, you know, I did, you know, I got to have a, a normal graduation, but also, you know, you've got a story to tell, you know, this is something that you get to share with your kids, grandkids, you know, people that one day will ask you, hey, do you remember when, you know, things are shut down, like, how'd you feel? You know, what were you going through? And so um, this is something that we're always all going to remember, you know, and so it's, a, <laughs> it's an interesting time for sure, but, um, but you know, we'll get through it, you know, and things will eventually get to somewhat normal, but you know, who knows, things might be a little bit different in the future. I don't know what school, the school year holds for next year. I do know that our numbers are pretty much full for art, so that's awesome. That means you guys that are took art this year, they're taking art next year. I may have you, I may not have you. All of the staff that we have are awesome. Um, I work with a great team. And so you're not gonna be disappointed who, who you're with. And if you don't have me for art, but if you wanna pop in and say hi, go for it. If you graduate, you wanna come to the school and say hi to me. By all means, I wanna know what you're doing. I know what, wanna know what, um, you know, what classes you're taking, you know, where is your college at? I know some of you guys told me, some of you guys might not be taking college right away, and that's fine too. So I was telling one of my students that sometimes you gotta live life for a few years before, before you realize you know what you wanna do. I mean, heck, I was a musician traveling, you know, playing, got really far in the music business, and now I'm doing teaching art, but I love what I do, you know? Um, but I had to learn more about myself before I realized what I, next career that I wanted to go into. And that's fine, you know, it, it doesn't happen overnight all, you know, right away. And some of you guys have an idea what you want to do and that might change, you know, that are graduating. So, um, but overall, you know, I really did appreciate every single one of you guys. Um, like I said, even if I got frustrated with one of y'all or whatever, you know, um, it's like when I get frustrated with my own kid, you know, we get a little frustrated, but I still care about you. And it doesn't mean 
that I don't care about you. Just, you know, like, um, <laughs> was it, it's like a, um, I like you, but I just don't like your attitude right now. Well, there you go. <laughs> so, but you guys were awesome. Um, thank you for making my first year at Byron awesome. Um, obviously I'm coming back. I'm going to be there next year. I'm probably not going to go anywhere. I'll probably end up retiring here unless some weird thing happens in life where I've got to move, but overall I'm going to be here. I'm not going anywhere. So, um, but for, um, just for everybody in general, uh, when I was getting my teaching certification after I graduated from, uh, UNT and I got studio drawing painting and my degree, but then I had to get a teaching certification. One of the teachers told me, and this is very true. Um, you know, your students may not remember what you teach or, you know, what you taught them or um, what they said, but they'll remember how you made them feel. And I hope that, you know, I made you guys feel in a positive way, not a negative way. Um, and also that comes back to me to where I'll remember how you guys made me feel. And I may not remember everything that you said, you know, or whatever, but overall, you know, um, it, it's in a positive light. And I said, you know, like every time I look back at any thing about any of my students this year, I can pretty, pretty much say, I mean, you guys, there's, there's nothing but positive things to say about each and every one of you guys, you know? So, um, I'm not going to keep rambling. I know you guys have got a lot going on. I wish you guys the best for summer. Who knows what summer's going to look like this year? You know, maybe you can get out in the sun, get some, you know, oh, there went my email. Sorry. Um, get some sun, hopefully get to swim. I don't know about traveling. Who knows? Right. Um, but make the best of, of what it is. Um, spend time with family. I know you guys have been with family a lot. <laughs> Maybe you need a little bit of a break. Um, I might be teaching summer enrichment classes. I'm still trying to find out what the info on that is. Um, and so also, if you didn't pick up your artwork, I'm holding on to it. I'm not going to throw it away. Some of you guys got some of your stuff. Maybe some things are missing. Again, it's not that... I didn't throw it away. Some of them didn't have names on them, so I couldn't figure out. By the time to go through all almost 150, maybe 200 kids, it would have taken me forever to go through a Google Classroom and try to find everybody's stuff. If you, anyway, it just took a lot. So again, it's just a different year, right? But I'm holding on to your stuff only for a while, um, maybe for a little bit through September, maybe early October. Um, just because I have new students coming in and I'll have to make more room for their work and I need to get your stuff out. So if you don't get it by a certain time, obviously probably like maybe October, early October, um, then it's probably gonna go. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, some of you guys have made arrangements for to come maybe this week or next week to get your stuff and we'll have to set a date or time. But again, I'm not throwing anything away until you know, next year, um, maybe closer to October, but you had to come get it, you know, it's a thing. So, and again, some of you guys missed the deadline, you signed up for picking your stuff up, but you just weren't able to get there. So I have your stuff, it's here, it's safe, or I say here, but you know, at the school. So you guys have a great summer. Um, I'll probably be doing some painting, maybe doing some online teaching, um, and everything like that, but we're fine here. Um, I pray that you guys, um, your family stays safe and healthy, friends, everybody. I pray that nobody gets COVID. Um, I, I hope that you guys don't know anybody that has it or, or has gotten, at least they're, they're okay and they're, you know, they're staying healthy. So take care of yourselves. I really enjoyed you guys. I really enjoyed seeing what you guys created. Um, and also, like, you know, I didn't do everything right either, right? So, um, and I apologize if maybe I didn't do something right. You know, I'm not perfect um, and I want to get better. So I'm always for, for suggestions too. There's something that you thought we could have done uh, throughout the year that maybe I didn't think of. You know, I've got ideas of what I want to change for next year to get better as well. So, um, so again, if I didn't meet your expectations for art this year, I apologize. Um, you know, this is my first time to only do high school, so I'm learning as I go, and I just want to get better and grow, too. So, you guys have a good summer. Take care of yourselves. Keep in touch with me, okay? Uh, I'll try to respond as quick as soon as possible, and um, just enjoy it. Have a good time. You guys are into it. We all need a break, right? 
Okay. All right. So I'll miss you guys. I'll be thinking about y'all and I hope to see you guys next year. All right. Take care and I'll see you later.